Hi guys, Miniman123 wants me to make a small hydro generator and this is going to be a very short video because I don't actually have the right bits to do what I want to do. This works but it's not producing anything like a usable amount of power. I was rather hoping, I'll just walk through what I've got. I've got my little solar snowman at the end here who needs very little power to make him go. About 0.8 of a volt is all he needs. That's the bit of circuitry that's normally inside and the solar panel has been removed a long time ago. And it's fed out to these two connectors and the idea was to connect them on the back of this which is the electric motor out of a hairdryer and then the front of that comes across here to this impeller blade which comes out of an um, air vent and then we run water over it to spin it but we're not getting anything like enough speed to build up the sort of current and voltage that we need even to run him so he's disconnected at the moment you might actually see him start rocking but it's nothing to do with the power because he's disconnected it's just vibration gets him going what I will do though is I'll try and show you the reading that we're actually getting out of the back of it and as I say it's nothing like enough so it's spinning you can see here it's a bit messy as well so if I stand that there hundred and ninety millivolts so nothing like enough I need eight times that oh, 200 millivolts I need four times that so I'm just not getting enough and so you can see he's rocking there but he's not connected up that's just the vibrations making him rock I didn't want to mislead you and let you think that he was actually working when he's not so I'll have to have another go at this sometime I thought I'd do a quick video to show you what I've done and as I say we are getting voltage but we're not getting anything like enough so we'll have another go some other time just a quick demonstration on my little snowman here I've got two fairly dead batteries from my uh, stock of dead batteries if we measure this one first That's given us 327 millivolts. If I connect him onto the snowman, nothing's happening. Whereas this one, which is still pretty dead. 804 millivolts connect him on there and away we go so you can see he runs 0.8 of a volt or 800 millivolts and he's happy he can run but I'm only getting about 200 out of that dynamo electric motor running backwards I could try a stronger force of water but that gets really messy in my kitchen. I've got water all over the place trying to do it so as I say I'm going to stop there but that's just an easy demonstration. 400 millivolts was not enough, 800 is enough. So we will try again sometime.